Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you an alternative build that I've been trying to work with uh, as far as my sorcerer is concerned. And it's a fire sorcerer build. So, um, I'll do a brief breakdown of the skills. I will do a brief rundown of my gear and my glyphs that I have in it. And of the paragon board and then show you a little bit of gameplay. So, I am running 2 out of 5 points in firebolt just to get down to Fireball, which I'm using 5 out of 5 ranks for, and I'm doing Destructive Fireball for the crit chance. Um, I come down here and I'm grabbing Flame Shield and Teleport. Flame Shield all the way up to Shimmering Flame Shield. Uh, heals me for 50% of my missing life. And then Shimmering Teleport for the damage reduction. Um, all my points in a Glass Cannon. 1 out of 3 points into Elemental Attunement because it procs once every 10 seconds, even with 1 point in it. And then um, points into Frost Nova down here to Mystical Frost Nova, so I'm making everything vulnerable when I hit that skill. Um, 3 out of 3 points in Precision Magic, which is a lucky hit chance increased by 15%. 1 out of 3 points into Align the Elements just to get over here to Mana Shield, which I put 3 out of 3. And then 1 out of 3 points in Protection just for a little bit more tankiness during the dungeons. I have a point into Icy Veal, which has... Um, an increase to my barriers by 5% duration. Um, just a little bit of a buff there that's going to help your tankiness in Nightmare Dungeons. Uh, 3 out of points, 3 out of 3 points in Inner Flames, 3 out of 3 points in Devouring Blaze, 2 out of 3 points in Crippling Flames, and then I have 8 points in Firewall. Firewall is going to be your bread and butter for this build. Um, I go over here to Mage's Firewall, which means enemies continue burning for 3 seconds after leaving the damage area of Firewall. My ultimate is Inferno, all the way over to Supreme Inferno, so while Inferno is active, I can ca cast as many fireballs or uh, firewalls as I want. Um, no mana cost while that uh, ultimate's going on, so that's pretty cool. And then um, next down here, I've got 3 out of 3 points in Fiery Surge, 1 out of 3 points in Soul Fire, 2 out of 3 points in Endless Pyre, and 3 out of 3 points in Warmth for the health regeneration, which is nice for... Withstanding some damage when you're going to be low on mana. Um, <laughs> so the key passives I'm using are Isu's Ferocity, which I'll show you why in a minute. Yeah, that's the skills. Um, go over here to the gear. I am doing a Helm of Fortune. The Fortune Enchant actually makes it so... Um, I get... A uh, lucky hit chance increase by 19% when I have a barrier active, which is a lot of the times because I have one barrier active or another between flame shield and my gear, so uh, that's pretty nice. Rhyming of the Infinite for the teleportation. Um, close enemies are pulled into you and stunned for 2.1 seconds. Stunned enemies take extra damage from fire, so that's pretty nice. I just got these Fist of Fate, uh, pretty rare drop. Upgraded them all the way. Um, lucky hit chance galore on these things. I mean, and my attacks randomly deal 1 to 300% damage, so I got like a perfect roll on these. And, um, definitely have been utilizing them to their fullest extent. And it's been quite fun, actually, uh, watching some of the huge numbers roll through when I'm hitting 300% of my damage. Um, Adventure Pants the Protector. Got a little bit of tankiness on there with an imprint of a barrier absorption up to 4881 damage. Um, Asus Heirloom Shoes for the Critical Strike Chance Increase by 24% of your Movement Speed Bonus. So these give you a lot of Movement Speed Bonus, which increases your Critical Strike Chance, which increases damage of your Fire Spells. I'm um, using Staff of the Endless Rage here. Um, definitely a must-have for any Fireball Sorcerer build, because every third cast of Fireball launches two additional projectiles. Notice I put the purple... Uh, Amethyst Gem on here for 8% damage over time, so my extra burning damage from my firewalls is increased. Um, Choker Control, I deal 48% more damage to immobilize stunned or frozen enemies. They're going to be frozen when I'm doing Frost Nova. They're going to be stunned um, or immobilized because of my fire skills, so I'm doing a lot more damage with this. Um, I have an interesting imprint on this one ring here, so... While both bonuses from the Isu's Ferocity key passive are active, your attack speed is increased by 50%. So my attack speed gets increased by 50% whenever my passive is procking. 
and that is pretty fun to watch actually so that's a pretty cool skill um and a must have for any fireball build i think or any build in general that uses a lot of mana is the imprint for using a cooldown restores 15 mana so every time i use a cooldown i restore 15 mana and um i'm using a lot of cooldowns so i'm getting a lot of mana back which is nice um other than that i think we'll run through here and just try and do a little bit of gameplay so you guys can see um what it's like and what kind of damage it does and the rotation for the skills and all that jazz so for single mobs i just cast fireball to traverse the map and get where I'm trying to go more quickly. I use my dodge and I use my teleport. Even though there's no enemies around, it definitely helps you get from point A to point B a lot quicker. So Let's see what we got here. Um I want to start by proccing a firewall when I see enemies that are gonna be more than one. Um like we got a few enemies here, pop my shield, pop a few firewalls, watch everything get burned to a crisp. Um, my enchantments that I'm using for my skills are actually fireball and firewall. Um, so when enemies die they explode in a fireball explosion, which is nice. Um, more for visual effects than anything. But the firewall enchantment is a lucky hit chance to spawn two additional firewalls uh, when I'm casting any basic skill, or any skill in general, I should say. So, I try and save my fireballs um, for when I have big group of enemies around like this BAM break them down with fireball firewall does a lot of damage over time because I'm specced into it and I've got eight points into it so I've definitely put some attention into firewall which makes it a very viable skill when you're doing a fire tree sorcerer I will say that I think that the ice shards and blizzard build that I did still outweighs this in nightmare dungeons and does more damage um, on a more routine basis, but I will say that this can be a lot more fun to play in some aspects. So definitely uh, nice to be able to switch up the game once in a while, you know, and play something different other than just the same build over and over and over and over, uh, which gets boring. Let's be honest. So. Elites are kind of a problem, especially fire elites. Uh, I try and do as much damage as I can with my firewalls to stay kind of away from them, but vigilant at the same time. When I freeze them, let loose the fireball, teleport in, give them a stun, a couple fireballs. Just kind of give them the whole run around here. And he's dead. Awesome. Awesome, Mike. So now that we've got all our animus, uh, we can just run the rest of the dungeon here and deposit it. And let's go through here. Check and see what we've got as far as enemies are concerned. So go in, pop some firewalls, uh, get some damage going, pop my shield, pop my ultimate if I'm feeling spicy enough, and then uh, finish them off with fireballs. It's pretty straightforward. And nothing really stands in my way, so definitely pretty awesome. as you can see pretty much decimate everything um, rather quickly and fire is still a viable build guys it's not all ice shards and blizzard unfortunately 
because um, I love that build. But you know, it's nice to be able to have some variance in, in your play style and to be able to burn things and watch them catch them holding holy fire as opposed to just being frozen to death uh, continuously and repetitively. So, but yeah, this is the build. Um, if you guys have any questions or you'd like to see more videos, please feel free to let me know and drop a comment or a like. And I would be happy to answer any questions you guys might have or go over any of the details of the build or the gear, how to get it, where to farm, anything like that. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, um, just feel free to ask me. And I'm a wealth of knowledge as far as the sorcerer class is concerned anyways so i'd be happy to help you guys and if you want to see more videos uh leave a like comment or subscribe and we'll go from there all right take it easy guys thanks